Do you think this paper by Valini, Zampairi, Shoai, MJ, etc. The Persian plateau served as a hub for Homo sapiens after the main out of Africa dispersal, Nature Communications 2024, and its supplements. Do you think this paper and its supplements are accurate in their conclusions about the history of Homo sapiens? So I took I took a look at the paper before I selected this question. And the, and the paper essentially concludes, it, it says, what are the main claims of the paper? It says, that we know the Afri- uh, we know that the out of Africa migration happened sometime around 70, 80,000 years before today, around the time 70, 80, 85, maybe whatever. And the paper claims that the main bulk of the population that came out of Africa it settled in Persia, and it 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 remained in Persia for 20, 30,000 years, and it intermingled, intermixed with the Neanderthals. That's why you have human. Uh, that's why you have Neanderthal DNA in in us because we are the ancestors. We are the descendants of those unions. And after 30, 40, 20, 30,000 years, from Persia, there was a dispersal of Homo sapiens across Eurasia. That's what the paper says. Now, how, is, the, is, is the paper accurate is what you're asking. Look, next to Persia, there is a gigantic subcontinent that is super fertile. So doesn't it make more sense for humans to go and settle there? Persia is dry and arid. I mean, look at Persia. Persia is dry and arid. Those days, around the out of Africa migration, there was more greenery around the this the coastlines of the sea, the the the, the, the seashore. But the Persian plateau, the overall bulk of of Persia overall, it was arid. It was dry. Why would anyone settle there? That's one. That's one issue with the paper. Second, and instead of making a claim, instead of making a claim, let me show you. Okay. There's another issue. You see, let me Google this. Let us find it on Google. Okay, did ancient Indians... Okay, first of all, not 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 this. Okay, before I even go here, let me show you something else. Let's go to the maps first. Okay. Here is map, yes. Now, let's Google Lake Toba. Lake Toba. And it's going to zoom in to Sumatra. Zoom out, you will find that you are in Sumatra. Zoom in, you will find this this big lake here. Nice, pretty lake. And this is island on the lake. Okay. And if you... Uh, and if you put the satellite images on, nice, pretty place. It's like a tourist destination. And you will find that there are resorts and waterfront cities and 4.6 stars and all that. But this lake is the extinct caldera of a gigantic super volcano. And this super volcano explosion last happened about 80,000 years ago. Okay? One of the largest super volcano explosions ever of all time. That was the Toba eruption of about 70,000 years ago. Now, why am I talking about this? Because I want to show you something else. So now you have in your mind the Toba super volcano explosion. Now let's go to Google. All right. Did ancient Indians survive Toba eruption? Did ancient, yes, ancient humans in India survived the Toba super volcano eruption about 74,000 years ago. Archaeological evidence from the Dahaba site and the Son Valley River showing continuous human occupation before and after the event. And you have uh, the, these all these articles, you know, these scientific research papers that, that show you that, okay? You can Google it in your own free time. My point is that 74,000 years ago, India, ancient humans were living in India before and after the Toba super volcano eruption event. Who were they? They were Homo sapiens, yes? So Homo sapiens were living in India. And India is a kind of subcontinent which will which can sustain a gigantic population of homo sapiens compared to persia so there are multiple issues with this paper is all i would say i'm sure if you look at the paper in isolation it's well written and you know conclusions may be well rigorous scientifically valid but if you broaden the scope of the paper then you will see issues if you just focus on the narrow persia region it may make sense